Wow. I need to talk about Vendetta forever. Vendetta Forever actually took me by a huge surprise. I was watching the VR game showcase when End Dreams came up and announced that they were making Vendetta Forever. Now, I kind of brushed it off at first until I saw they had a free demo. And I can't say no to free. So I tried the free demo and I can safely say this game fucks. I mean, there's no other way to put it. This game is great and for the record if you see my hand like this i'm actually using my phone as a microphone because for some reason my quest mic is broken so you're gonna see my hand like this when i'm talking it looks goofy i know but it's the only way it works so what is vendetta forever vendetta forever is um basically if you were taking crank and meth at the same time no basically it's a john wick simulator meets pistol whip and super hot there's no other way i could put it it feels like the spiritual successor the super hot and somehow a spiritual successor to pistol whip combine super hot pistol whip and crack all together in one big pot of just whatever this is and it's amazing i love it vendetta forever actually took me by a huge surprise i wasn't expecting it to be as good as it is i've tried and dreams as other games i've played every single one of them except for synapse because i don't own a psvr2 i've played fracked i've played all of them okay and i can safely say that this is their best title yet as far as it being fun and addictive and replayable this is definitely end dreams best title so far fract is good but it's nowhere near the cinematic masterpiece they thought it was gonna be the gunplay was okay but uh overall the story was meh vendetta forever doesn't really have an overarching story it's more just focused on it being fun and fluid to play which i think is is, is like strongest standpoint here and it does it well trust me vendetta forever is really fun even on the demo which only has five stages but i actually found myself like replaying these stages for hours i ended up spending like 30 minutes on two different stages to try and like be the number one on the leaderboard which i now am i'm now number one on uh the modifier and non-modifier leaderboard on both the uh nightclub map and the western map so um have fun with that I also managed to even get under a second in the quick draw Wild West map, which is five people in under a second. And I did that. I'm now on the leaderboard. That didn't actually count as the run that put me on the leaderboard. It instead goes by score, but it was more on the personal best time for me. And that's what I was trying to get. Vendetta Forever introduces a cool locomotion system that is actually i've never seen before basically you shoot a guy they throw their gun up in the air and you grab it and you teleport to where that gun is you then shoot another guy you teleport to where that gun is when you grab it and so on and you keep grabbing guns you keep teleporting it's called la kill la la kill motion yeah basically you just keep killing people grabbing their guns and teleporting your way across the map as fast as you can with the best accuracy there's a ton of guns. Apparently, there's 31 guns, um, which I don't know if that is 31 guns in the demo, 31 guns overall in the game. But in the statistics, it shows there's 31 guns. So, yeah. This locomotion system is actually very intuitive. It feels really good. I didn't have any problems with it whatsoever. And plus, the guns... Fuck. The guns slap in this. I don't know what kind of magic they did to these guns but while they aren't the most realistic guns god it's so satisfying to use these oh god i got cheese cheese asmr but yeah no they must have put something in these guns because they are so satisfying to shoot especially when getting headshots i mean look at this that was fucking sick not to mention, the aesthetic of this really reminds me of Pistol Whip. But in reality, this the world, the environments, the aesthetic very much reminds me of Pistol Whip. And I'm not complaining. That's actually a compliment. I love Pistol Whip. The game is great. The aesthetic's awesome. The environment is awesome as well. The guns, fuck. And 
the music is a good song choice. I still think Pistol Whip has the better soundtrack, but the soundtrack is pretty good. The soundtrack in the Wild West level, that's good. That's some good soup. A lot of these levels actually leave me really excited for what's to come in the future because these are only five scenes and there's a lot of stuff in the trailers that we saw that we didn't actually have in the demo yet. So I'm actually really hyped to see what's going to be in store. The demo is very replayable. I mean, for a demo, five scenes, some modifiers, and a leaderboard, absolutely replayable. I mean, I caught myself playing this for hours. I had to physically force myself to stop or I was going to keep playing. And it's very easy to just pick up and play. It actually gets you sweating a little bit. It gets you schmoovin'. It gets you schmoovin'. I honestly can't recommend Vendetta Forever enough. It's honestly my favorite End Dreams title and my favorite VR demo of 2024 and probably my favorite VR demo of all time. Maestro was pretty good, but v this, this demo? That's not it. I forgot. I don't have the okay symbol on this avatar. It, pretty good. Good soup. Go play, go play Vendetta Forever. Okay, bye.